So today we're at the Gochok Sky Dome to check out the Kiwoom Heroes. In South Korea, this is famously known as the only dome stadium in Korean baseball. They're one of the three teams here in Seoul. What makes them different from the LG Twins and the Doosan Bears is they're actually located over on the southwest side. In their history, the Heroes have gotten a few name changes over the years. They're linked to a very old and historic team in Korean baseball, which are known as the Hyundai Unicorns. The Unicorns were a famous team based out of Suwon that won a lot of championships during the 90s and early 2000s, but they unfortunately broke up in 2008. The Heroes were formed in 2008 in the aftermath of the breakup of the Unicorns. As long as they've been the Heroes, they've always kept the same burgundy color scheme. They were known as the Next Gen Heroes from 2010 all the way up until 2018. But this is their first official season of being the Kiwoom Heroes. Since 2015, they've been playing here at the Gochok Sky Dome. Today's matchup puts the Heroes up against the SK Wyverns, a team based out in Incheon. Last year, the Wyverns and Heroes squared off in the semifinals of the playoffs. On their way to winning the championship, the Wyverns narrowly squeaked by the Heroes in dramatic fashion. So with some of these feelings lingering on from last season, this should shape up to be a pretty good game. To get to the Gotruck Sky Dome, it's best to take Line 1 on the subway all the way down to Guil Station. Once you're at the station, it's fairly simple by just following the signs, go to exit 2, and then it should only be about a 5 minute walk to get to the stadium. So right after you exit the subway station, you should be able to run into a ticket booth for the outfield, and there's also another ticket booth over here by the main entrance right under the stadium. We still have about 40 minutes until the first pitch. I just wanted to show you what my seat and view will be looking like for this game. As far as cheering sections go, this is also one of the pricier stadiums in Korea, with the seat coming in at 22,001. Okay, so for my first round of concessions here, let's go get a hot dog. Here is this monstrosity of a sausage. Concessions here have most of the items that you'll find at the stadiums here in the KBO. We have full-sized pizzas, bite-sized pieces of chicken, topoki, takoyaki, a kind of cheap burger chain you'll find here with also some shrimp and fry boxes. More common street food items like odeng and sundae, which is blood sausage. And at the very end of the first space side is where you'll find the nuclear steak. As far as beer goes inside the stadium, a half liter will run you about 3,500, with a full liter costing 7,000 for a cast brand beer. But if you want to splurge a little bit and go with the Asahi, a half liter will cost you 6,000, and I guess 800 milliliters there will be 10,000 won. A great thing about every baseball stadium here in Korea is that they allow unlimited re-entry in and out all of the parks. So if by any chance you're not feeling any of the food options inside, you literally can just go across the street, there's a Popeye's chicken, or maybe any other chains that you see. Tactfully placed right outside the stadium is this little mini e-mart convenience store. So here at this convenience store, you can find alcohol for cheaper than what you'll find inside the stadium. But just be aware that there is a little bit of a markup here as with most things at this park. A liter of beer goes for about 4,200 won here as opposed to 3,900 at other places. If you're traveling to Korea and want to show off to all your friends and family the great baseball experience that you have, well, right here is also this golden baseball, which can be great for the Instagram photos. Another important thing to know is that this is one of the strictest stadiums in Korea when it comes to security policy. Upon entry, all bags and backpacks will be checked by security. As with every other place there, they're pretty lenient when it comes to bringing in outside food and beverages, but they do have a strict no glass bottle policy. So for round two, I had to come back and get that steak box. A little bit smaller than I expected, but all of this was around 8,900 won. Okay. Right on. 
but still a steak and beer at a ball game. That's a pretty good combo if you ask me. Okay, so batting first for the heroes, we have the left fielder, Yi Zhonghu. Batting second, we have the designated hitter, So Gong Chang. Batting third, we have the shortstop, Kim Ha Song. Batting fourth, we have the first baseman, Park Byung Ho. Adding fifth for the heroes is the right fielder, Jerry Sands. Batting six is the center fielder, Lim byung -woo.
Batting seventh is the third baseman, Song Song Moon. Batting eighth is the second baseman, Kim Hee Sung. And batting ninth is the catcher, Lee Ji Yong. Alright, so for my third and final round of concessions, I went with this big box of takoyaki because it's great beer food to go along with this other Asahi bottle that I picked up as well. Alright, so here it is, only for about 6,000 won. But I can hear that the Kiwoom heroes are coming back up to bat, so let's get out there ASAP. So here in the seventh inning, it's still a tied game, one to one, neither team can pull away. The Heroes crowd has been into this the entire time, and it's shaped up to be a really good ball game. Over on the other side are the SK Wyverns fans. They're packed away in this little section in the corner, but they've been roaring all game. Alright, so the Kiwoom Puos have put together a late rally here in the 7th inning and this place is going absolutely wild. The 
So for the mid-inning festivities today, there weren't any beer chugging contests or dance-offs or even uh, mascot races, but there was this weird screaming contest that they had in the middle of the game. What was also really cool is after the seventh inning, they all kind of had a little like hugging song, which really gave me some vibes uh, that bring me back to college football, my Florida Gator days. So top of the ninth here, the Key Womb Heroes are up three to one. They're looking to close out the SK Wyverns and get a win on this Saturday night. But who knows, there could be some late inning drama. Let's find out. No comeback today for the Wyverns as the Key Womb Heroes ended up taking this game by a score of 3-1 to one in 9 innings. The game's been over for about 10 or 15 minutes, but behind me is like this little love fest going on between some of the MVPs of the game and some of the other players. And it's just the fans here hanging out, singing their names, and having a nice little victory celebration here. This was one game here with a little glimpse into what the life is like. Uh, at the Gochok Sky Dome for a Kiwum Heroes game. Leave your thoughts down below. Do you think you could be a Kiwum Heroes fan? Was the crowd anything great? What did you think about the dome atmosphere? Is that better than being out in the sunshine? Leave your comments down below. I'm more than curious to see what everyone thinks of an experience out here. So with that, I'm going to sign off tonight. So take care and I'll see you at the next baseball game.